Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Welcome back to my YouTube channel Learn English with Teacher Atika My name is Teacher Atika as you guys know So today, we are still going to continue on Unit 4 Celebrations But before we start our lesson for today I would like to ask about your condition So how are you guys today? Are you guys good? Are you guys happy? Are you excited? Are you guys sad? What? Happy? Excited? Alhamdulillah So, without wasting our time, let's start our lesson for today Let's go! Assalamualaikum and hi everyone So this is teacher Atika here As you guys know, we are going to continue on unit 4 celebration But before that, let's take a look at the objective for today's lesson So, by the end of the lesson, you guys should be able to Number 1 Understand the story you read with teacher's guidance. Number two, decide and tell teacher the most suitable title of the story after they have read the story with teacher. Number three, tell teacher the summary of the story. Number four, tell teacher the answer for each question teacher asks. Number five, identify the part of the story the pictures came from. And the last one, tell teacher the complete sentence according to this text. So, do you guys think we can attain to the objective? If yes, so now I'm going to show you the table of contents for today's lesson. So what we are going to do? The first one, we are going to read a story with teacher. We are going to choose the most suitable title, create a summary for the story. Number two, we are going to check your understanding about the story. So it's going to be quiz time. So we are going to play a game for this part. Okay, for number three, we are going to do worship one. Of course, it's very important for you guys. Number four, we are going to complete the sentence. And then we are going to end to this lesson. Pretty simple and easy, right? Okay, now we are going to start by recalls back the previous vocabularies in the previous lesson. Okay, let's start. Do you guys still remember the, pre the previous vocabularies in the previous lesson? If you do remember, Alhamdulillah, but if you don't remember, don't worry. We are going to recall the vocabularies together. So please repeat after me, okay? The first one, dress up as. Repeat after me, dress up as. Dress up as. Costume. Costume, costume, scout, 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 nurse, 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 soldier, 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 police officer, police officer, police officer, entrance, entrance, entrance. All right, good job. Now, I'm going to introduce the, the new vocabularies for today's lesson. So again, please repeat after me. Fishing rod, fishing rod, fishing rod. Line, line, line. Pool, pool, pool. Think, think, think. Wool, wool. Wool. All right, good job. Okay, everyone. So now we are going to read a story together with me. So I want you guys to open your textbook on page forty-six. All right. So once you have opened your textbook on page forty-six, you can see this picture. Okay. Now, before we read the story, I would like to tell you guys that we have to choose the best title for the story but to do that we need to read the story first only after that we we'll, we will decide which title is suitable for the story okay now let's read the story together please repeat after me sentence by sentence omar lived with his family on a small farm his family worked hard but he didn't like working. One morning, Omar went to the river with his new fishing rod. He waited and waited. Then something pulled on the line. He pulled it out of the water. Ooh, what a big fish, he said. But the fish wasn't an ordinary fish. Omar caught a wishing fish. Please, please, let me go and I can make your wish come true, 
said the wishing fish. What do you want? Wow, said Omar, and he thought about his wish. Make all the sheep go away, so I never have to work again. Okay, said the wishing fish, and with that it jumped into the water. The next day, it was very hot. It didn't rain for many days, and many sheep died because there was not any water. Omar's father said, We have got no more wool to sell. We have not got any money. Omar was very sad. This is my fault, he said. I have to go catch the wishing fish again. Okay, now we are going to read the story again. Please repeat after me sentence by sentence. Omar lived with his family on a small farm. His family worked hard, but he didn't like working. One morning, Omar went to the river with his new fishing rod. He waited and waited, then something pulled on the line. He pulled it out of the water. Oh, what a big fish, he said. But the fish wasn't an ordinary fish. Omar caught a wishing fish. Please, please, let me go, and I can make your wish come true, said the wishing fish. What do you want? Wow, said Omar, and he thought about his wish. Make all the sheep go away, so I never have to work again. Okay, said the wishing fish, and with that it jumped into the water. The next day, it was very hot. It didn't rain for many days, and many sheep died because there wasn't any water. Omar father said, We have got no more wool to say. We have not got any money. Omar was very sad. This is my fault, he said. I have to go catch the wishing fish again. Okay. So we have read the story together. So now it is time for us to decide which title is suitable for the short story. So here, as you can see, there are three titles here. So let's choose the best title. Okay, for the first one, Omar's Day by the River. Do you guys think it's the best title for the story? No? Yeah, I think so. Okay, what about B? The Wishing Fish. What do you guys think about uh, B. Is it suitable for the story? Is it the most suitable title for the story? Yeah, I think for me, I think this one is suitable for the story. Okay, what about you guys? You think it's very suitable for the story too? Okay, let's take a look at C. The fish and the sheep. Hmm. What do you guys think about C? I don't think that C is the best title to describe about the story. Yeah, I think I'm going to choose B. Do you guys agree with me? Alright, so we are going to choose B, the wishing fish. So the title for the story is the wishing fish. Okay, so we have read the story together two times and we also have decided which title is suitable for the short story. So now I'm going to explain the story in your language. Okay, please listen carefully and please pay attention. Oma tinggal dengan keluarganya di sebuah ladang yang kecil. Keluarganya bekerja keras, tetapi Oma tak suka bekerja. Di suatu pagi, Oma pergi ke sungai dengan joran barunya. Dia tunggu dan tunggu sampailah sesuatu menarik tali joran dia. Jadi Oma pun menarik sesuatu tu keluar daripada air. Uh, besar ni ikan, Oma kata. Tetapi ikan yang Oma tangkap tu bukanlah ikan biasa. Oma menangkap ikan hajat. It sounds funny to call it ikan hajat. So I'm going to use wishing fish. Okay, so because it sounds funny for me. So I'm going to use wishing fish. <laughs> Alright, so what the what the wishing fish said. So the wishing fish the wishing fish said, tolong 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 lepaskan aku. Aku akan mabukkan semua hajat kamu. Beritahu wishing fish tu. Apa yang kamu mahu? 
Wow, Omar kata. Dan dia pun berfikirlah apa hajatnya. Omar pun kata, hilangkan semua kambing-kambing. Hilangkan semua biri-biri tu. Jadi, aku tak payah pergi bekerja lagi. Okay. Beritahu the wishing fish tu. Jawab wishing fish tu. Dan kemudian, ia pun melompat kembalilah ke dalam air. Keesokan harinya, cuaca sangat panas. Sampaikan berhari-hari tak hujan dan menyebabkan banyak sangat biri-biri mati sebab tak ada air. Dan kemudian ayah Omar pun katalah, kita dah tak ada lagi bulu untuk dijual which, eh, which is the sheep wool, bulu biri-biri. Dia dah tak ada bulu biri-biri lagi lah untuk dijual sebab apa? Sebab biri-biri kan semua dah mati. Kita dah tak ada duit lagi. Omar sangat sedih. Semua ini salah saya, Omar kata. Saya perlu menangkap ikan wishing fish tu lagi. Okay, now, do you guys understand about the story? If you do understand, Alhamdulillah. So now, since you have understand about the story, so I want you guys to tell me the summary of the story. Okay, so what is the summary of the whole story? Anyone want to tell me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, correct. So now, I'm going to tell you the summary of the story. It's not that your what the summary that you told me is wrong, no. It's just that I need to clarify it more. Because you have told the correct one. I never say it's wrong, it's correct. But let me tell you the whole summary. Okay, so the summary of the story. Omar caught a wishing fish. It could make his wish come true. Omar made a wish and his father's ship died. His family had no more wool to sell. They had no more money. Omar was sad. He wanted to find the wishing fish. So, this, this is another summary for the whole story. Okay? So, you can uh, jot down this summary or if you remember, you might no need to write down this on your notebook. Okay? Now, I'm going to ask 11 questions to check your understanding. So, let's check, let's check your understanding. So, it's time for quiz. Alright, so, if you tell me, if you give me the correct answer, you will get one star. You can refer to the story each time you want to find the answer, okay? So, can we start the game now? Alright, so in 3, 2, 1. Let the game start. Okay, the first question. Where does Omar live? Good job, my dear. On a small farm. One star for you. Number two. Does he like working? Correct. No, he doesn't like working. Number three. Where does Omar go one morning? Correct. To the river with his new fishing rod. One star for you. Right, number four. What kind of fish does he pull out of the water? Correct, my dear. It is a wishing fish. One star for you. Right, number five. What will the wishing fish do if Omar lets it go? Good job, my dear. Make his wish come true. Okay, next, number six. What does Omar wish for? Hmm. Anyone want to answer? Yes, correct, my dear. To make all the sheep go away so he never has to work again. One star for you. So clever. Number seven. What is the weather like the following day? Correct, correct. Very hot, right? Okay, number eight. Why do many sheep die? Good job, because there is not any water. Okay, number nine. Why does Omar's family have no money? Correct, my dear. They have got no more wool to sell. Next, number 10. Why is Omar very sad? 
Correct. It is his fault. Okay, one star for you. And the last question. What does he have to do? Good job, my dear. Clever. Catch the wishing fish again. So one star for you. So you guys got all 11 stars. Okay, now let's move on to the next agenda. We are going to do what she wants together. Like usual, I always told you guys. Once you receive your worksheet, please write down your name, your class and the date of the lesson or the date you received the worksheet. And then read the instruction two times. Make sure you understand the instruction, okay? So the instruction here tells you, read the story again to put the pictures in the correct order. Alright, so how to do this? So you need to identify the part of the story the pictures came from. There are four pictures here, right? Okay, so how to do this? Yet? You, so you have to read the story again and only after that we can put the pictures in the correct order. Alright, so we are going to read the story again. So now, let's read the story. Okay, Why Omar lived with his family on a small farm. His family worked hard, but he didn't like working. One morning, Omar went to the river with his new fishing rod. He waited and waited. Then something pulled on the line. He pulled it out of the water. Okay, so which one is the first picture? Right, correct. Is the B. Okay, B is the first one. Okay, let's continue. Ooh, what a big fish, he said. But the fish wasn't an ordinary fish. Omar caught a wishing fish. Please, please let me go and I can make your wish come true, said the wishing fish. What do you want? Okay, so which one is the second picture? Good job, it is C. C is the second picture. Okay, let's continue it. Whoa, said Omar, and he thought about his wish. Make all the sheep go away, so I never have to work again. Okay, so which one is number three? Good job, my dear. It, it is D. D is the third picture. So obviously, A is the last picture, number four. All right. So let's check your answer. Is it correct or not? Okay, so let's start. Let's check your answer. Okay, so the first one, is it correct? It is B. Alright, correct. So number two is C, is it correct? Alright, correct. For D, is it really? D is number three. Alright, correct. Good job. And obviously, A is also correct. Alright, one. Correct. So you got all and all of the answer correct good job everyone so now let's move it on to the next activity the next activity we are going to complete the sentences so here let's read the instruction look at the two sentences below and complete it to show the cause tell your teacher the complete sentences so what you need to do is that you have to read the sentences here there are two sentences here first one and the second one so you have to complete these two sentences according to the text so you need to read the text again but if you remember about the story there's no need for you to read the text again so now i'm going to ask you the first question the first one many sheep died because correct there wasn't any water. Okay, number two. Omar's family hasn't got any money because... Good job. They got no... They have got no more wool to sell. Alright, you answer all correct. Now, let's move on to the next activity. Oh, we are almost done for today's lesson. Alright, so... Can you guys tell me what have we learned today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, good job. 
So we have learned about the new vocabularies. Do you guys still remember about the new vocabularies? Alright, so let's read together. Okay, please repeat after me. The first one. Fishing rod. Fishing rod. Fishing rod. Line. 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 Pool. 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 Think. 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 Wool. 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 Alright. We also have learned. Okay, so what we have learned today, we also learned the second. We learned read a story together with me, with teacher. We also decide a suitable title for the story. Still remember, we choose the wishing fish, the title for the short story. And number four, we also answer the questions to check your understanding. We also create a summary for the whole story. We rearrange the pictures in correct order for what she want. We also complete the sentences by stating the causes. Do you have any question related with to this topic? If you have any questions related with to this topic, you can always comment in the comment section below. I will answer immediately if I have time. Okay? So that's the end of our lesson for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take good care of yourself. Stay safe and I love you guys. Bye! Thank you for watching.